welcome back to another home vlog. It has been a while since we've done one of these videos and I'm really excited to be back. I had a couple of weeks off for obvious reasons. If you saw our last video and on Instagram, my fiance Benji had open heart surgery recently and we made a whole video all about that journey and how he's been getting on. We are 14 days 13 days post-op now so he is doing really well I'm sure he will pop on in this vlog at some point and let you know how he's been doing but we wanted to say thank you so 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 much for all your support and well wishes and kindness and love we just felt so grateful for that so yeah I really 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 appreciate it to all of you that reached out and I'd love to hear from you what have you been up to what good things have you been doing please leave a comment below I love chatting to you all and this video is going to be a catch-up like you're on FaceTime with a friend <laughs> I'm going to tell you all the things I've been up to uh between obviously going to the hospital and being with Benj I had my birthday I got my wedding dress I have been reading and just trying to refocus on myself because in all honesty I think the last few weeks of emotions I've been feeling all off honestly I've not really truly felt myself and I've got a lot of feelings and I thought I'd uh, process them with you so <laughs> today is Thursday the 6th of April it's 6 p.m and I'm really hungry so I'm gonna go downstairs and make dinner if you're new around here hi I'm Brogan I make home lifestyle and travel vlogs so I'd love to have you if you want to hit subscribe and give this a thumbs up I have so many exciting videos planned for April and May really really looking forward to talking to you a bit more about those as well in this vlog and I'm gonna try and remember to show you some of my birthday gifts that were so nice that I received. I'm gonna film a bit tonight and tomorrow and we're gonna have a catch up so let's go make dinner because I am very hungry. Bonnie has been so adorable today. We've had lots of snuggles haven't we? She fell asleep in my arms on the sofa and I was reading and it was just so cute. For tonight's dinner we have a few choices but we actually have HelloFresh and they have kindly sponsored this vlog again so big thank you to them. I know a lot of you will already know who they are but they are a meal delivery service that we have been loving and using for years. We are genuine loyal paying customers and I know I'm biased but they are amazing and have changed our life and have been even more pivotal in this new routine because Benji was the chef <laughs> he's the cook of the house and I am not so great at cooking but HelloFresh makes my life so much easier we pick our meals on the app we've gone for a whole range of ones including the um, salmon special we've got an ultimate a classic which is actually a rapid recipe as well and a family one which which only takes 20 minutes too so they always have a good mix and I've recently updated the app I noticed you can search in the different categories by bestsellers rapid they even have um, smart calorie ranges so you can check the calories if you are following a certain plan I just think they're fantastic they have over a hundred different recipes each month loads of choice and you get your fresh ingredients delivered straight to the door perfectly portioned and it helps us eliminate all of those conversations around what are we eating when are we buying the food what ingredients do we need I just don't have to stress about any of it because it just comes straight to the door and then when I'm ready to cook I can just grab the bags from the fridge and grab a recipe card so if you want to get a little bit of discount I have another amazing code it's broken tape 60 and it gets you 60% off your first box and 25% off your next two months plus some free gifts so you can scan the QR code on screen now or you can click the link below but thank you so much to HelloFresh this discount is perfect and I know a lot of you use it and love it I thought tonight we would do the salmon this was one that we paid a little bit extra for but I don't mind paying the, the little extra this one comes with Hasselback potatoes mustard shallots and tender stem broccoli and a creamy pesto sauce it sounds incredible when Benji and I saw this we were like mm. it takes 45 to 50 minutes and yeah I'm gonna give it a go follow the step-by-step -step recipe card which I love so let's grab the bag and make a bit of dinner who's come in to observe my cooking it's a uh, quality control <laughs> uh, so far everything's up to scratch it looks like it's going well though but you enjoying it do you know what when you get into it and I just obviously lean so heavily on the recipe like the HelloFresh recipe yeah I couldn't do this like just from memory. We wouldn't think of doing uh, just Hasselback potatoes, would we? It's a new skill. I've never done that. Yeah, I find cooking so therapeutic. 
Like, no, you I'll do. either watch the football or listen to a podcast or whatever. You'll be back into cooking soon. I think so. I reckon another couple of weeks. I've already made my first eggs on toast, haven't I? Because it's it's working in the tube. Like I've got to imagine there's a I'm in a tube, so I can't bend. And the only thing I can't do is like fill up a, a kettle and stuff like that. Yeah, it's too much in my chest. You. While you're here, do you want to? share anything else how are you feeling yeah good mentally good the fatigue that i had before surgery that i was really struggling with I, it feels like like when you put diesel in your petrol car or whatever it felt just felt clunky and clogged up and yeah. horrible. i felt my, my legs were full of concrete and like when i was tired it was i couldn't fix it with a nap it, it wasn't i don't know it, it's impossible to explain and since the su surgery i feel tired but like it, i can solve it with a nap it's a completely different tiredness wow. that, that i think feel like everyone gets rather than the, the horrible fatigue uh, i feel fresher yeah I, I i can't explain i feel so much better obviously yeah, that makes sense. Awful pain. I just said to Brogan, I'm going to have to take another like, round of medication because my chest is... I'm having a bad day today. Um, Pain-wise. Pain -wise. Yeah. But I well, feel... You can have I some feel, salmon, which will be good for you. Yeah, I feel like I'm breathing in outside air all the time instead of, like, smoggy air. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it's, it sounds stupid. No, I get it's it. It's the only way I can describe it by making yeah, nice yeah. big thingies, but... I'm yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really, good. really, really happy. I'm so glad that they're able to do it, and yeah, oh gosh, yeah. so grateful as well that they're oh able my gosh, to do it. Yeah, absolutely. We've talked about that so much, haven't we? Yeah. Ta da! That looks so good, Bubba. Doesn't it? Yeah. We've got the sauce to pour on as well, so I don't know how much you want. I think I'm just gonna do a bit on the side. Yeah, probably do the same. It smells so, so good. Okay, granted, my plating is not quite as nice as the one on the page, but. Look at my potatoes! They came out so good! We are going to watch season 3 of The Mandalorian on Disney Plus as well. And I thought I'd show you Benji's chair too. <laughs> you got your granny chair. I got my granny chair, it's perfect. I think it's fair to say that I really enjoyed that. The potatoes were a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Salmon, so good. The broccoli with the shallots and the sauce was good too. 10 out of 10, we'll have again. Benji is having a Miller Corner. And I bought these the other day. Halo Top Gooey Brownie Ice Cream. So I'm gonna have one of these. I'm just going to continue emptying the dishwasher that I started and I'm gonna tidy this away. I need to clean the hob, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow. There we go, all clean. And I put the recycling bins out as well, so that's good. I'm about to do my evening skincare routine now. And I use a face halo to take off the majority of my makeup. And then a few days ago, I received a parcel from a company called Super Facialist. And they sent the Vitamin C Brighten Skin Renew Cleansing Oil. I've used this twice now. And oh my gosh, it makes my skin feel amazing. Combined with their night cream. This is called the Rose Hip Hydrate Peaceful Skin Night Cream. I cannot even tell you, my skin just absolutely loved this. And I rarely say that about skincare products. I've got like a handful of brands that I love. And to be honest, I just sort of gravitate towards the same things, but I always am sent stuff. And I can tell pretty much immediately if my skin likes it or not. Obviously skincare takes time to try and use to, you know, fully see the effects. But in terms of first impressions, I was just so amazed. I absolutely love my brows ever since I had them microbladed. I watched back some old vlogs and I can see how different my brows look. I've dried my face because you need dry skin for this. And then you just put the oil on and it feels so good. Look at that. Look how much makeup that's lifted off. Oh my gosh. Then the next brand I've been absolutely loving, I bought this on Sephora. It's called SVR and I have a whole range of products from them. I've got the SPF, which is great. The moisturizer is also pretty nice because this is an anti-redness one, which I obviously need. And then this is the cleanser. As you can see, I've really enjoyed this. So this is what I'll go in with my double cleanse. And then before I go in with any of my other skincare bits, I've got serums and toners and moisturizers, all that jazz. 
I am just gonna jump in the shower. Now my makeup's off properly. I am in a towel. <laughs> it looks like I'm not. I also have shown these. I can't remember the last time I showed them, but these are my favorite face masks. They are ridiculously expensive, but I did find them for a pack of four on Amazon. They just are amazing on my skin. I've tried a lot of face masks, but this is the Rodial Vitamin C Energizing Face Mask. And oh, if you're looking for a treat and something that feels just incredible on your skin, get these. I'll leave them linked. I'll leave everything linked. I also fell in love with this brand a few years ago now when I went to Mallorca. I bought a small travel size version of these. This is the Sol Genera. Sol de Genera. This is the shower cream and I have a massive bottle of it because I love it so much. And I also have the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream as well as my moisturizer. I'm planning on going to the gym in the morning so I'll wash my hair tomorrow. But I bought up a clean basket of washing and I know that I have some pajamas and some shorts. I must have just worn this Mickey t-shirt last time. That'll do. It's a bit crazy but that doesn't matter. So I've been trying to start my wind down evening routine around an hour before I want to go to sleep and I've been trying to go to sleep between 10 and 11 so I've been starting this around 9 o'clock. If we're watching a TV show or movie or something I'll you know I'm not precious about it but you get the gist and I've been trying to read in bed before sleep so trying to spend less time on my phone and i'm currently reading straight expectations this is my lovely friend callum's new debut novel it's not typically something i would have picked up i don't think and i'm not sure i'm necessarily the target audience but i'm really enjoying it so far it's a ya so it's young adult lgbtq plus uh, novel and it says last night max asked oliver out this morning he woke up straight and so it is like a Lindsay Lohan style where um, he sort of enters a whole different universe, one that he sort of wished he could just be like the straight boys and then he gets that wish. And so I'm about halfway and it's a nice, easy, light read. And then today I popped into the works and loads of you recommended that I read these books. The Fine Print by Lauren Asher is basically inspired by Disneyland. This is a series called Dreamland Billionaire and I think they are the same world but different stories. I'm not sure, maybe some of you can tell me but um, I bought number one, two and three to read back to back as they were only six pound each in the works when they're 8 99 on Amazon I think. I thought that that was great. I love the works. I love going in there. I love looking at all the books. Their book selection is just like my taste. I just yeah, I love it. And the prices are so great. I even remembered my reusable shopping tote bag. This was from Primark ages ago. Um, but I felt like I was winning at life when I remembered that. And she was like, do you want a bag? And I was like, nope. <laughs> Whipped out my reusable shopping bag. I was very happy about that. It is gonna be such a nice day. It is 6.45 a.m. Well, you woke me up at half past. I just needed 15 minutes to like, you know, get myself awake. I haven't got an awful lot of plans today, but I did wanna go to the gym. And I'm thinking if the weather is gonna be kind of nice, I might go for a swim as well. It is Good Friday, so it's the Easter weekend. So I might try and get out early but then she didn't sleep very well last night obviously you may have already noticed if you watch regularly we're in separate beds because he has like six pillows around him in our main bed what a good girl i have not found the motivation to get up and go in a while but this is the best routine right now so Benji is sleeping, Bonnie is asleep. She won't want to get up and go for a walk till her food has gone down anyway. So I figured that this is my time for me. I've just arrived at the gym. I've parked in a space where the sun is really bright here, um, but I'm about to go and do my workout. I've just recently restarted Couch to 5K. So I'm on run two of week one. So literally just started it this week and I can't decide if I'm gonna enjoy it or not. I have done it once before. I didn't even finish it though. That was honestly such a lovely start to the morning. I did my run, I did the second one, which was a minute run, a minute and a half walk. Repeat that eight times. It was really good to get my 
second run in i know it's not like continuous running but you know and then i did 30 minutes in the pool outside pool and it was so dreamy i am a proper water baby i love being in the water and the sea i love swimming i always have so I know that swimming is definitely an exercise that works really well for me. It makes me feel really good. Uh, it's really good on my back because I've got quite a bad back and it just feels so nice. And yeah, it was just lovely being in the fresh air, like outside. It was fairly busy at first and then about halfway through there were only three of us in the pool. And then towards the end there were about eight of us so it did get quite busy but i then sat in the hot tub for five minutes just you know the jets on my muscles i felt like i was having a bit of a spa day let's get driving i actually am going to open the roof i put my sunnies in here oh my gosh dreamy and i need to get my david lloyd card up on my phone because it lets me out of the barriers i need to return a parcel so i'm taking that to the post office and Bonnie girl's coming with me, obviously. We are now going through the park so Bonnie can have a nice run. Such lovely weather, oh my gosh. Love it. I am about to go through all my receipts. I've got about 80 items to reconcile from the last two months. That's all the business expenses that I've put on my card. I have to match the receipt with the transaction. So I have to scan in each receipt then put in the VAT amount, the date, what it is. So I'm doing my receipts and it's such a boring task. I've got 35 items to go. I'll get there, I'll get there. Um, I'm actually watching Lewis Capaldi's documentary on Netflix in the background. And I realise I haven't shown you my computer. I've got my plaque on the wall now, my 100k. And I've got this gorgeous big computer screen. I've still got my old keyboard and mouse, but you can see under here, I've got the Mac mini. This is not the neatest it's been, but you know, I bought the Samsung screen. It has a webcam built in and it's a nice pink color to match. And I absolutely love it. This is my main desk setup. It's so much quicker and better and I'm absolutely obsessed. So it was definitely worth the investment. Oh my gosh, look at Foxy. He's having a little sunbathe. He's sunbathing, yeah. We don't normally see him all stretched out like that. He's normally all curled up in a little ball. He looks like a doorstop, doesn't he? Yeah. For this afternoon's job, I want to film a Primark haul. I've got the bag behind me, so you'll see that probably next, I think. I wanted to show you a few of my birthday gifts. I'm not doing a what I got for my birthday video, but I had some really lovely things. So my lovely friend Gary gave me this gorgeous book that I haven't finished yet, but it's called Wonder Doodles. And I actually follow this account on Instagram and it is basically a really lovely book full of illustrations with self-help, motivation, inspiration, and it is so lovely. The words are stunning. I actually had this on the day Benji went into surgery and it was perfect. So thank you, Gary. That was a lovely gift. He also got me a necklace from a company called Honyu. And it's actually a seashell. And I love the sea and I love the beach. And it's perfect. So it's just a tiny little seashell like so i love it again thank you gary benji's mum and dad gave me money and vouchers so benji's dad gave me primark vouchers which is what i went and spent yesterday and then the rest of the money i picked up the books benji's grandparents and auntie and uncle and cousins on his dad's side they uh pulled together and got me some theater vouchers which was so lovely i don't know what show i'm gonna see yet but i am gonna book something in my brother gave me some money as well and he also got us this it is a wedding keepsake box and it's so beautiful it says mr and mrs on the little heart and it just opens up into an empty box which i'm going to store lots of our lovely things after we get married so that was so nice my friend charlotte got me a selection of bits she got me a tea and biscuits sort of stand that's in my office and she got me a reed diffuser a couple of bits but she also got me this bookmark which is lovely because it's pink it's got a b on it all of my friends know that i go by b as my nickname she had it personalized with my name on the bottom which is so lovely i have no idea where this is from but when i opened it i was like oh 
a little book gift anything book related this year has made me so happy so yeah i've got that in my current book so my mum got me loads of lovely things so i'll whiz through some of them she got me a wet brush which she already owns this one and said it's basically amazing i don't know if any of you have heard of this company brand person i'm not sure hi poppet girl I've been wanting a really good eye mask that I saw a couple of ads on Instagram, looked at a couple of reviews, and it's by a brand called Lanya. Again, I'll find a link, but it is a silk sleep mask, and I have got some long haul flights coming up over the next year, and I wanted something really good, and this is super blackout. I mean, this is what it looks like, obviously, you can't appreciate how good it is, but it covers like all around your eyes. There's like no light peeking through, it's perfect. I've been wanting one like this for ages, so thank you, Mum. That was such a nice gift, one that I know I'm gonna get loads of use out of. From the same brand, she also picked me up a sports bra, like comfy travel bra this is gonna be so nice for travel days i love these super soft nice bralettes she got me this very cute little decorative beach hut thing it says smile and have a sunny day i'm gonna put that up in my office on my bookshelf in a minute i thought that was so lovely it came in this little box she also got me a bookmark can never have too many because i'm always reading more than one book on the go because i've got self-help books too and again bees see what i mean there's always a bee theme this little bookmark is magnetic which is really nice she got me this cute little bag which i'm actually going to use as my wash bag at the gym so i can hang it up and have all my toiletries in it i thought that'd be perfect for that she got me two pairs of earrings one of them is a necklace and earring set so this actually came in the most beautiful gift box by a brand called amp monaco i'd never heard of them before but this is what they look like so beautiful i don't think i actually own a matching necklace and earring set can you even believe that i obviously have necklaces and earrings but i don't have a matching set and it's so beautiful so i think i'm gonna save these and wear them for the awards ceremony I'm going to soon. But she also got me these earrings and they do match my green dress. These are lovely little emerald green studs. I actually wore these on my birthday night uh, because I was wearing a green dress and they made me feel really lovely. So thank you, mum. They were all the things I was going to show you. Whilst I'm here, I also wanted to share a little exciting update for me. I've been invited to a few things coming up in May. So I've got an award ceremony in April, which is the 18th, which I'm up for Vlogger of the Year at the Trav Media Awards, which is so exciting. So I'm staying at a really nice hotel for that. And then uh, a couple of weeks after that, I'm back in London for a few really fun things. I'm working on a couple of projects with Girl Guiding, so I'm gonna share more on that soon. But I also am going up for the most incredible event ever. I can't share it just yet. I am gonna be that person, but please just trust me when I say you are not gonna to wanna to miss this. You're gonna be so excited. I'm gonna be vlogging. So that's a UK thing that I'm doing. But then one I can tell you about is I've been invited to Antigua. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I've been invited to Antigua on a content creator trip. You know, I've done these in the past with these press trips with like 30 other content creators. I did one in Greece last year that I didn't vlog, but I did film some YouTube shorts and I did loads of Instagram coverage. Well, I've been invited to do the same thing in Antigua. So it's sort of a mini conference where we're gonna be learning and doing some workshops and people are gonna be teaching us things about short form video and social media. And uh, we're also gonna be working with the tourist board and they're gonna be showing us some of the best things to do in Antigua. This will actually be my third time there. Really, really, really looking forward to that. I'm gonna vlog it and bring you Long. obviously Benji's not coming with me on that trip but we do have a cruise booked for mid to the end of June to go on Avia as a lot of you know we were meant to go <laughs> earlier this year we're really really excited about it so that will be coming up in the summer as well so loads of fun things for you to look forward to I'm gonna tidy up a little bit and then we'll make some lunch <music> go much better nice and tidy ready for filming got the primark bag there i'm eating my lunch out in the garden just to get a little bit of sunshine on my skin oh it feels so nice obviously we do have garden furniture but as you can see 
haven't taken the cover off and pulled the cushions down there in the loft. We had um, some sweet potatoes, so it's quite a chunky one, but I've got sweet potatoes, tuna, and then a little bit of salad. Hey, darling. Oh, you're so warm. Yes, you're so warm. I love you. What a good girl. What a good girl. Right, I am just setting up my things. So, I've got my Primark bag. Do I want those backlights on? I think I do. Just tried to take the thumbnail photo and the light was too much on that side of my face. So to balance it out, we need to make another light. I've had this ring light for donkey's years, like actual years. And then sometimes, oops, that can be too bright and it's better to direct it like that. I've just started the edit on the Primark vlog and I feel like, or Primark haul, and I feel like I need to do a little try on clip so you can see what the clothes looks like. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try the clothes on, I film a few of those clips. So set up the tripod again. Once I filmed a video, I charged the battery so that I am never short when I want to film again. I've made this thumbnail. So I've just exported it out of the computer, put it in my phone, just so I can sort of see it a bit better and the colors and everything. I think that looks good. I'm out walking Bonnie. It's absolutely glorious. She's having a lovely run. But I wanted to talk to you about something. I have lost all confidence when it comes to my body, body image, clothes, fashion, style, basically everything. I've just lost all feelings of, I don't know. I, I, I think because my body has changed quite a lot over the last year, I've gained weight and I was feeling quite neutral about it until recently, something clicked recently. I don't know if, whether it was Benji's surgery or whether it was when I tried on my wedding dress or whether it's just the change of seasons and I'm putting on my sort of nicer clothes. I've literally been living in leggings and jumpers. I realized recently like none of my jeans fit me and I'm not really wearing them and I don't really style myself. I don't put any accessories together or outfits together. I don't enjoy clothes that much. I used to, and I think I would more if I, I don't know, felt differently towards myself. I'm not sure. I think I've got a lot of work to do. And this morning, going to the gym and working out and I've eaten lovely food today and like I'm ticking all those boxes for myself. But yeah, feeling just a little bit, um, down actually down about it all just thought i'd share that in case any of you are feeling the same i'm literally wearing christmas disney crocs <laughs> this dress and a bum bag fashion let me know if you've gone through a phase or rut like this whether you have lost your sense of self and who you are i've been in my own head a bit too much today i think about it maybe that's because i'm filming again and i don't know Seeing yourself on camera all the time as well is really hard when you don't like yourself and my face and the shape of my face and everything like that. It's just something I've been like hyper aware of and I thought I would share that. So anyway, we're walking back home now. Ah, I'm tired, I'm really tired now. We've just been watching some YouTube videos and Bonnie is nicely tucked up here. Having a little cuddle. I need to go and start the dinner, so I've got to stop now, pop it. Good girl. So tonight's dinner, we've got chicken palm. We've skipped on the pesto because we had pesto in last night's dinner, but it looks amazing. Love it. And this is one of their ultimate dinners. Look at this gorgeous sleepy girl. Oh, and we're watching Chippendales. Chippendales. Ch -ch 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 Chippendales. Rescue Rangers. No, not that one. Oh, I thought it was a bit different to how I remembered it as a kid. Uh, <clears throat> it's Welcome to Chippendales on Disney Plus based on the true story. It's really good, isn't it? We've paused it on a couple having a kiss in a pool here, actually, but yes, it is really good. We're enjoying it. You know the drill. Here's the kitchen. It's not too bad, but you know, we're going to tidy up. <laughs> Yay! 
can't leave and can't go to bed with it all messy. All right, I'm in bed. I'm about to read some of my book. I've done my skincare, my teeth and my pajamas and it's been another good day feeling really good so big thank you again to hello fresh for sponsoring this one like i said i'll leave the discount code below for you the link and all the information but it's such a good offer so it's 60 percent off your first box and 25 percent off your next two months and some free gifts so you don't want to miss out and you can be cooking lots of lovely meals like we have i cannot wait for the next two as well because i don't have to worry about it over the bank holiday weekend just sorted for us so thank you again hello fresh i'll be back again very very soon but in the meanwhile if you want to see what else i get up to during the weeks you can follow me over on instagram and once again thank you for all your kindness and love and support while i took a little bit of a break but april may and even june are going to be so good so exciting so sending you lots of love thank you for watching and i'll see you again very soon bye